Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Kayla and I have an eight-year-old son named Shane with autism. I created this, this as a space where I can share everything I know and hopefully improve some of the lives of families affected by autism. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about global developmental delay or GDD um, and autism, how my son's dual diagnosis has affected him and what it means in terms of his day-to-day -day life. First off, and most importantly, this is information only and is not meant to replace any sort of therapy or medical treatment that your child may need. When Shane was diagnosed with autism, he was also slotted to be tested for global developmental delay maybe a year later when he was a bit older and they could have a better understanding of where he is at. You know, now he's eight and a half and we know that he definitely has both global developmental delay and autism. He has a dual diagnosis. And the global developmental delay has affected him in many ways, just as though his autism has, but doesn't necessarily mean that the two go hand in hand. Just because your child is having a few delays does not necessarily mean that they have global developmental delays. Developmental delays are quite common in babies and it doesn't mean that your child has global developmental delays just because they're a little bit late to walk or sitting up or something like that. Usually when you're looking at global developmental delay, that means that they are delayed in multiple things for a significant amount of time. Of course, it's worth talking to your doctor about, but if your child is a month late for walking, I wouldn't necessarily freak out. Shane actually hit every single milestone until about 12 months or 13 months. And then it was very small things that I started to notice and it wasn't really until 18 months that we really knew for sure that something was happening. And of course it was his speech first. He was not talking and interacting as much as the other kids were. And speech was actually the first sign that autism may be present in my son. It wasn't until about five years old that Shane was actually able to get a global developmental delay diagnosis. The reason is, is because there are many different things they need to do during the testing and the child needs to be at a certain age to recognize that they're having developmental delays in many different areas. It wasn't just speech for Shane, for example. By five years old, we realized he was delayed in his gross motor, his fine motor, his speech, his ability to understand language, everything. Even just tying shoes, putting on his clothes, he was delayed in all areas of his life. So we knew at that point that he had global developmental delay and not just a speech delay with autism. I think it's really important to separate the two because they are two separate things that can sometimes come together under the umbrella of autism. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects things like communication and forming relationships. It never goes away and it is a lifelong thing. Global developmental delay is something that affects your child and them reaching their milestones at certain points in their life. However, some children will reach all those milestones at some point and will no longer have those delays. Others won't, but some will. So it's important to recognize that they are two separate things. Shane's dual diagnosis of autism and global developmental delay has definitely changed and affected the way that we approach his education and his social interaction. His global developmental delay really sort of hinders some of the things that he's able to do or at least slows them down. Um, I know that Shane has the capacity to learn almost anything, but because he has these delays, he needs more time and uh, more help to process a lot of these new concepts. And that's everything, Com um, considering you know, the way he reacts to people, the way he re interacts socially, the way he learns math, the way he learns uh, written language, all of these things, even the way he's learning to read, it's just taking a little bit more time. We have to try a, a few different ways. And honestly, it's just a little bit more work. Having that dual diagnosis means that my son is not just autistic, but he also is delayed in almost every single area of his life. For example, Shane, to this day, still struggles with language. Even though he's had speech therapy and he goes to a specialized school, Shane still holds his fork a little bit awkward, even though he sees an occupational therapist. It's, he's working on it and he is moving forward and I'm grateful for that. However, because he has global developmental delay, these things are taking a lot more time and there are multiple things that he needs to work on. When talking to people about my son's development and his disability, I often just say he has autism. But the truth is, is he has both global developmental delay and autism. And as much as they come together to make him the beautiful boy that he is, they are two individual things and need to be treated as such. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
I post videos every Sunday and sometimes also on Wednesdays. So please subscribe to find out what I post next.